Welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone's having a good day. Today we're going to go over a project that has been trending big time in crypto lately and has been requested by a bunch of different people that I cover. That project is Peppa Inu. So if you're on Twitter, that name sounds familiar. It has been trending all over the place, but you can't confuse it with another project with a very similar name that has also been trending. And that project is Pepe. So there's Pepe and Peppa Inu, and as you can tell, they have very similar logos. Don't confuse them. Obviously, the most of the reason they've both been trending is that they've both been performing great lately. Here's the Pepe chart. This is the one we won't be covering. They got listed earlier in the week, and they've done a 5x in the last four days since they got listed. And then Peppa Inu, they've done even better. They got listed a month ago on March 24th. They've done approximately a 30x since they got listed. And one of the reasons I've chosen to cover Peppa Inu and not Pepe is if you look at the charts. Pepe has pulled back slightly in the last two days or so. Right down here, it was down around 20% yesterday. So obviously, anytime you rise a lot, you're going to pull back. But Peppa Inu, the one we're going to cover, hasn't really pulled back at all. Obviously, they went parabolic here. They had a natural pullback there. But look at this. It found great support there. It's been gradually trending upward and finding higher lows each and every leg of the journey. This is a beautiful looking chart right here. This is a chart of a project that's growing, that's gradually building its user base, and is showing no signs of slowing down the way a lot of small, small market cap meme coin projects do. And even today, they're up 37%. That's why I chose to cover them today, partially. 37% on news of a huge tier one exchange listing. We'll get to that a little bit. First, Peppa Inu, what is it? So they've been around two months since February, and then they got listed a month ago, late March. $6 million market cap, so small market cap, but not a micro cap. Still plenty of room to do 20, 30, 40Xs, even though they already did a 30X from the some $300,000 market cap that they started on a month ago. Perfect 99 DEX T score. That's what you need. Obviously, that means the liquidity is locked and the team has audited and KYC'd and passed with flying colors. Here's the audit and your perfect score right there. That's what I like to see. And also this coin, Pepper New, seemed to have some ties to Baby Doge. That's another coin that I cover very frequently on my channel. Probably the number one coin that I cover. Um, looks like Peppa Inu is sponsoring the upcoming Baby Doge worldwide premiere on Bitcoin's crypto magazine, Bitcoin LFG. So basically similar sort of fan bases, market bases, both cater to the retail crowd. So if you're a Baby Doge fan, it sounds like you'll probably be a big fan of this coin too. Peppa Inu has been trending big time lately with their price rise. They were trending number one in USA and Brazil, which is pretty impressive considering they only have a $6 million market cap. So let's deep dive. Deep dive a little more into the coin and what they do exactly. So here's the website, peppa-anew.com. Remember, there's a bunch of these Peppa coins. There's like half a dozen. Make sure you're on the right one, peppa-anew.com. They are the newest and most exciting meme coin with a community-driven approach and a burning passion for memes. We believe, they believe, that Peppa Anew is the next big thing in the meme market. So essentially, they're a meme coin, and Peppa, they are named after Peppa the Frog. You might not know that. I wasn't even that quite sure myself. I had to Google it, but Peppa the Frog is a cartoon character, something like this. Here's his logo right here. And that's their logo as well. So it's a meme coin based after a famous frog, and they are community-driven. What that means is that they do not have any huge VCs. All the coins are owned by the community. There's no unlock periods for huge early investors that you have to worry about later. And they want to be the next big thing. They want to be the next Sheeb or Doge, as everyone does. So, yeah, low market cap meme coin. Very exciting. What else we got here? So, total supply, 420. What is that, quadrillion or something like that? So, a very memeish kind of number right there. But 55% has already been burned. That's a lot. 55%. That could explain part of the astronomical price rise. So now the supply is down 190 quadrillion, if that is. That's the 55% down for 420. And then 100% outstanding supply. So max supply has gone down. The max supply goes down when tokens are burned, destroyed. But the more important figure is the supply outstanding. And that means are any coins going to be unlocked? And as I mentioned, they won't be. So 100% of the coins are outstanding. Don't have to worry about any huge early investors selling their coins. I like that. They do have a semi-high buy and sell tax fee. It's 10% buy tax, 10% <clears throat> sell tax. So the low market cap coins I cover, it's usually between 5 and 10%. I've seen a lot of 5%, a lot of 7%, a lot of 10%. Anything less than that usually means the team already has a big budget. Maybe they had prior successful projects. 
they don't really need to take taxes out to pay for marketing and that kind of stuff. So at 10%, yeah, it's high, but I've seen it, you know, and most of these projects at a later point, they can change the taxes. I don't know if this project can or not, but most of them still have that ability, which means maybe in the future they can lower it. Of the 10%, 5% goes our reflections back to the holders. So that's a benefit. 2% goes to growth. 2% goes to the marketing. You always need marketing. You know what I say? Huge on that. 1% goes to liquidity. So they're, according to this, they're just on pancake swap right now. But the big news yesterday or two days ago that sent them parabolic 35% one day, they announced it getting listed on Mex C. So that's pretty big for pancake swap to Mex C, which is currently the number 17 biggest ex exchange by daily trading volumes and spot markets. Very big. And that's also good. It gives a lot of credibility, it gives a stamp of approval because then these other exchanges, Huobi, Bithum, Bybit, KuCoin, Crypto.com, they're going to see, okay, Mex C did their due diligence. They listed them, so okay, you know, we'll still do the due diligence, but it's not quite as important because they already got a stamp of approval from MEXC. This is huge, and obviously, exchanges are big because every time there's a single exchange announcement that's in the top 20, top 30, that generally causes a price pump. So, huge, lots of exchanges to go, and they're already listed on one big one, which is stamp of approval. Now, the contract address, you want to make sure you get the right one here. A bunch of people wrote in the comments of another video of their messages to me, what's the contract address? So it's on the website here. Here it is. Or what you can do is what I typically do, like if it's an Ethereum coin, I'll go to etherscan.io. And if it's a Binance Smart Chain coin like this one, I go to bscscan.com to get the contract address. You just type it in here, Peppa new, and then it pops up. There it is. You always want to make sure you're on the right coin. Here's another benefit of the coin. So when you're on BSC scan, you can go to the section holders right here. Very useful. You can see how concentrated, how decentralized the coin is. This is pretty good. So the 55% big wallet, that's the burn wallet right there. Beyond that, no wallet has more than 2.4% of the total supply. That's very decentralized, very good. There isn't one huge team wallet that could be sold at any time or after it comes unlocked. Very good. Very little sort of worrisome selling pressure here. I like the decentralization. Very good. Let's look at the roadmap. So it looks like they're kind of towards the end of phase two of four. So they launched the website. They got listed on CoinGecko and CoinMarketCap. Launched the marketing campaign. They got listed on initial exchanges and the ones they still have to do. So Merch Shop, they, uh, they've they been linked to that on the website, but it's not quite available yet. So that they're kind of working on right now. Should be available soon. The pop of meme market is going to be released in the next phase. Honestly, I'm not quite sure what the meme market is. I couldn't find the information in the white paper on that, but that's something right there. Also, they're going to launch their NFT collection. They've not launched that yet, so that's something to watch out for. And considering it's a cartoon character frog, and that's a very important part of the NFT collection, so watch out for that. Then they're going to establish some more partnerships, more marketing, etc., etc. Let's look at the team right here. So it consists of two brothers from the Netherlands. One is a web developer and the other is the founder and CEO of another project, Elroy, which I, I think I've heard of, I think I'm familiar with that. So they're both early 30s. They're both sort of crypto veterans, maybe not quite OGs, but crypto veterans, it sounds like. They know the space works. They already are semi-well-funded. They know how the marketing works, etc. So that's always good. And then there's some other influencers here that do similar meme coin styles. They're involved already. Christina Keller and Bitcoin LFG. He's in the uh, Baby Doge community, as I mentioned. So that's it. So there's definitely a lot to look forward to with this coin. Again, it's by request, and they've been trending a lot. That uh, price chart they have looks very, very impressive. I like how they find higher and higher support at each level of the journey. Find support and then find higher lows. That's all I like to see. Link at the bottom if you want to check it out. That's it for today. I'll be back tomorrow with a new video. Ben Crypto signing out. Catch you later.